What I briefly want to emphasize is that AB 2088 underscores the landmark policy established two years ago when the legislature enacted SB 967 by Senator De Leon. That legislation, the so-called Yes Means Yes Bill, require, required our institutions of higher learning to adopt a policy concerning campus sexual violence. Clearly laid out in that legislation is the fact that a victim of sexual assault cannot be deemed to have consented to any kind of sexual activity if they were unconscious or incapacitated due to the influence of drugs, alcohol, or medication. If we let a rapist off with probation and little jail time, we re-victimize the victim, we dissuade other victims from coming forward, and we send a message that sexual assault of incapacitated victims is just no big deal. AB 2888 sends a message that we stand behind what is required of our institutions of higher education in SB 967, and this type of crime is unacceptable. This bill is more than just about the sentence. It's about changing a culture and preventing future crimes.